Hello everyone. Today's video is how I get my files, template files, overlays, things like that, onto my photo booths. Uh, specifically in this example I'm going to show how I use Google Drive to get my files into Luma Booth. Uh, but I also use this method for DSLR Booth as well. I store all of my template files, welcome screens, and things like that, once they're created, in my Google Drive account. Uh, that way, if there's any issues at an event, they're not stored on some local computer that's not with me. I have them uh, accessible on my Google Drive cloud storage. So in the sample, uh, I'll be using an iPad to load a file from Google Drive into Luma Booth. One thing you'll need to do for the setup is on your iPad device, download the Google Drive app. You'll want to download that and log in to your Google Drive account. If you haven't done that, if you don't have a Google Drive account or don't have a Google account at all, you'll need to create that uh, first. You can do uh, a, a simple search for a Google account and create a Google account. Uh, so here, uh, uh, when we're starting, I'm just showing that you'll want to make sure that you have the Google Drive installed on your device and as long as it's installed that's all that matters at this point in time. Once you get into Luma Booth you'll have to do one time turn on the Google Drive feature and that's what I'm going to show. So you'll want to go ahead and get into your event. You'll want to do the down arrow to get into the settings and I go into, you can go into your welcome screen or capture settings or anywhere that you want to load the graphic. I just happen to be in capture settings and I'm showing a image overlay uh, for a boomerang is what I just happen to be selecting for this one. So go ahead and click that choose button under image overlay in my example. Uh, whether you be in the welcome screen, the print layout, whatever it is, if you're in the print layout or welcome screen, uh, you'll do add image. Uh, if you're in the boomerang capture settings, you'll you know add overlay or add music, whatever it happens to be. Uh, so once you get to the the Apple's storage location, what you're going to want to do is there different devices have different options. Sometimes it's the little three line bar kind of like a you know some people call it the hamburger um, the menu option um, on this device that I'm using there's just three dots you'll want to click that and then you'll edit sidebar when you do edit sidebar you'll see that you get some more options available you'll want to turn on the Google Drive option once you turn that option on you can click done and now you'll have Google Drive as an option, uh, just like a regular file location. Now, I in my Google Drive, um, I have a lot of junk, but I also have a folder that is my photo booth rentals. I do one, 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 uh, because Apple seems to want to put these by default in alphabetical order. So that just kind of gets me a little bit higher up on top instead of having to scroll all the way to the bottom every time. And once you're in there, you know now you can select your file. Um, as as needed for depending on what style you're doing. Uh, Luma Booth in particular will only show the available files highlighted that you can select for that that location. Um, so since I'm doing an overlay, I happen to be doing an image overlay on a boomerang, it's only showing me options for transparent PNG files. If I were somewhere like the, the welcome screen, I could have JPEGs or PNGs. Um, but this is the main method for getting files onto the Apple device. Uh, and again, once you've enabled that drive option as a folder location, it, will, it should always be there and you can always navigate to it and always select your files. Uh, I get in the habit of always having my files on my Google Drive for my events. And like I said, I can select it at any time if there's any problems, um, if there's anything wrong with syncing, where the event files, you know, for some reason don't end up on the device, I can just navigate on the device at the, at the event and get those files. And like I said, I do this for DSLR booth as well. My, my welcome screens and my print templates are all there in my Google Drive. 
So hopefully this has helped you out on how to get your files onto your photo booth device. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, send me a message. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment. I'm always answering questions. Make sure you like and subscribe to my post and visit photoboothinfo.com for more posts and tips. Thank you. Goodbye.